Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about lips. I'm going to share with you a recipe of a lip balm that is going to protect your lips, makes them smooth and silky, and hydrate them. And it's super easy to make this lip balm at home. I'm also going to share with you methods that can help you make your lips fuller, brighter, and make their contour more defined. And all of that without any injections. The skin on your lips is very thin and very dry, and therefore if you don't take care of it, they get very dry and start peeling. So if you don't take enough care of them, you will have to recover your skin from time to time. Comment below how often do you get problems with your lips and how do you deal with them, and we are going to continue. You can say by the state of your lips which micro elements and vitamins your body is lacking. Lack of vitamins and micro elements can be directly seen from the effect it has on your lips. Your skin gets dry and breaks both on your lips and at the corners of your lips. So it's important to normalize your nutrition. Include some fatty fish, nuts, oils, fruits and vegetables. Avoid consumption of spicy food, tea and coffee, and avoid bad habits such as smoking. And obviously it's crucial to stay hydrated. Next thing you're gonna do is work on the muscles of your lips. When your muscles are being over contracted, your lips get visibly smaller and thinner. It is happening because when the muscles are over contracted, blood circulation decreases. As a result, you get pale lips. For many people, taking care of your lips simply means applying some lipstick in order to make them brighter and sort of moisturize them. But not all lipsticks are actually good for your lips because they might contain Vaseline, paraffins, mineral oils and colorants. All of them cause dryness of your lips because they form a film on the surface of your lips that attracts water from inner tissues on the surface. If you want good quality lip products, you should choose those that contain only natural ingredients. Those are oils, vitamins A and E, and natural beeswax. And today I'm going to share with you a recipe of a natural lip balm. But to begin with, we are going to give our lips a short massage that is going to make them smooth and silky, bright and full. The first exercise is going to improve blood circulation and help you get rid of the purse string wrinkles. For that, fold your lips around your teeth protecting your face from unwanted wrinkles, and roll them out. The next exercise is going to help us soften our lips and keep them full. Grab your lips between your fingers and push and press through them. The next exercise is my favorite. It loosens your lips and you can do it multiple times throughout the day as soon as you feel tension in your muscles. <laughs> and another exercise that is personally my favorite. Wait, I think you just said the previous exercise was your favorite. That one was our favorite. This one is my personal favorite. You are actually interrupting me again, so stop it. For that, you are going to need a bigger size vacuum cup. You need to clump it to your lips, leave it on for just 5 seconds, release and repeat it again.
This exercise improves blood circulation and keeps your lip juicy and beautiful. Now we are going to do a massage technique that makes your lip line more defined. For that you are going to pinch through your lip line. After that, we are going to pinch through your lips, grabbing your lip line horizontally. And now we are moving on to our natural lip balm. But first, we are going to scrub through our lips in order to remove any peeling dead skin cells. And for that, you are going to apply honey to your lips. After that, get some semolina on your finger and apply it to your lips. And use this as a scrub for your lips. Then remove it with a wipe or rinse it off. But better do it with warm water. If you are allergic to honey, you can replace it with butter. And in the same way use semolin on top. And the next step would be applying natural lip balm to your skin. To make this lip balm you are going to need bee wax, olive oil, oil diffused vitamins A and E, and some essential oil. I, for example, chose orange oil. You are going to start off by melting your bee wax. Then mix one tablespoon of bee wax, then add two tablespoons of your favorite oil, one tablespoon of olive oil, several drops of the vitamins A and E, and a couple of drops of essential oil. Mix it all together and pour it into a container of your choice. And this is what you get as a result. It smells great and is very easy to apply. And you can easily experiment with the components. For example, you can add coconut oil to it or add some cocoa powder, and then you're gonna get a chocolate lip balm. If you don't have or don't wanna use bee wax, you can mix one teaspoon of coconut oil with one teaspoon of honey, preferably sugary, thick honey, and add a pinch of cinnamon. It's going to smell great, taste great, and be very good to your lips. And you can store this lip balm in your fridge. Obviously, everybody's gonna have coconut oil, but no bee wax. You can also use cocoa butter. That one for sure everyone has. Mm -hmm. Sure. You can also take she butter, the one in thicker form. I hope you like this natural lip balms recipe and you are going to try make at least one of them at home. Comment below if you managed to make one yourself and what were your impressions after you used it. I hope this video was useful for you, so subscribe to our channel, make sure you gave this video a thumbs up and shared it with your friends. And don't forget clicking the bell in order not to miss our newest video. Oh no, I forgot to share the last exercise. Well, you're lucky if you watch this video till the end. It's the simplest exercise, you just need to sort of chew on your lips. And finish off with our favorite exercise. Exactly. And now I'm actually saying goodbye.
stay positive and beautiful.